Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of January 23rd to January 29th, 2023? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Aquarius, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. One more thing, please be careful of scammers that are out there pretending to be me. I will never send you a message in any way telling you to contact me, so please be careful not to get scammed. All right, let's get started. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Aquarius in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. Card one to show up, ten of cups. At the bottom of the deck, judgment in reverse. Okay, we also have the magician in reverse, king of pentacles, five of swords, the strength card with the ace of cups, and the knight of swords. Ten of cups showed up here too. Hmm. Judgment in reverse with the Queen of Wands, Three of Wands, Five of Cups. All right, so in regards to your energy, Aquarius, for the week pertaining to love. Some of you have like new love here. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's some sort of new love that's trying to enter into your life, but I do feel like you are focused on whatever this is. I don't know. You are focused on something from your past here. Something that failed. Something that failed, something that didn't work out. You feel unfinished business. You know, so I feel like that's why you're kind of, you know, looking at it. This is your energy, uh, five of swords. You're looking over here. So, so it's like you're still focused on it. You're still giving it your energy and your attention. Even though it's something that clearly failed and didn't work out, I feel like you still feel some type of way about it, you know? You're, you're still carrying some sort of um, energy of being upset, you know? Because the Five of Swords is a little bit kind of like, yeah, being upset, especially with the Strength card. So you might not show it on the outside. I'm looking at this person here. It looks like they have a smile on their face. It looks like a smile. Yes, yeah, so you might not show it, you know? You know, you might not be um presenting that energy of being upset, but I feel like you are.
And why is that spirit? Tell me more about that. Um, Five of Swords. Let me get these cards out here. Oh, look at that. Knight of Cups. Nine of Swords. Tell me about the um, uh, Five of Swords spirit, please. Yeah, like I said, you do feel, you know, this energy of unfinished business. Something didn't end on good terms. It left a bad taste in your mouth. The lovers in reverse. This was a really intense connection. This was a very strong, intense connection that you felt with this person. And it kind of sucks, you know, that it didn't work out. Um, you know, I think you feel a little bit maybe cheated in some way or betrayed. You might feel like this person was unfair in some way. They were very unfair with you. And it just kind of, something rubs you the wrong way or just left a bad taste in your mouth. And you, I feel like you haven't completely reconciled your, your feelings in regards to that situation. Um, anything, what is it that this, what is this energy, what is the feeling here? What's the specific feeling here, spirit? Not quite getting it. What's the feeling? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you might be like upset with yourself. Okay, I got it. Thank you, spirit. Got it. Yeah, I think some of you might be like angry at yourself or upset at yourself for falling for this person, falling for this connection. You might feel like you did invest, <clears throat> like you invested in some way, like your time, your energy. And you might feel a little bit robbed, you know, like cheated or robbed. Like this person took you for granted. Yeah. Like they took you for granted. Okay. All right. I think I got it. I was trying to figure out what, what was the feeling there, but because I could feel there's a, there was a specific feeling. But it's something like that. It's like feeling, feeling like when someone, a feeling of when someone takes you for granted, you know? When you, you invested your time and your energy and you didn't get anything out of it, you know? You you were left empty-handed. And it's it's not a good feeling, you know. Some of you might be trying to bite your tongue also. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Look, Knight of Swords in reverse. You might be trying to bite your tongue with this person. Like, you might feel like, you know, there might be a lot that you would like to say to this person. But, you know, I'm getting an energy of like, you know what, let me just bite my tongue and not say anything because this person is not worth it anymore. They're just not worth any more of my time. Yeah, strength card. This is kind of like that energy of holding yourself back holding yourself back from, from giving this any more of your, your energy, you know, your time and energy. It feels specifically like that, like biting your tongue here. Because it's not, it's not worth it. They're not going to listen anyway. Because like, I think you're looking at them as someone who doesn't care and who probably never cared. So, yeah, 
Yeah, you might feel like they don't regret anything. They don't have any remorse or regret. Hmm. Yeah, so you're, you're just, you just, you have a really negative outlook on them right now, I feel. Like, you're just not... You're not happy with them at all. You might feel like they're disrespectful also. Or the, the way they've been acting is disrespectful. The way they've been acting with you or the way they acted with you. So you need to let that go, Aquarius, because that energy is just... It's a horrible energy, actually. I can feel it. Like in the, I feel, I, I, I feel it in the pit of my stomach, you know? Maybe some of you have stomach ache. Because that's what I feel right now, like stomach ache. Hmm. You know, I think it, it would be good to just, you know, acknowledge, you know, how, you know, where you went wrong, you know. Like take take responsibility of, of the the bad decisions that you made. I think that would help, you know. I feel like that many times that could be very helpful to, you know, when it comes to letting something go. You know, just acknowledge that you weren't perfect, you know. Nobody's perfect. You also um, might have made some bad decisions or took some bad actions. Or, you know, maybe your intuition was telling you something and you went against your intuition. So, you know, whatever it is, um, it takes two, right? So there's always something that you, you can recognize and acknowledge that maybe wasn't a good decision on your part. Even if it's just that, the, you know, the fact that you went against your intuition and just kind of, you know, acknowledge and acknowledge your part in it, you know? I think that helps a lot. It helps to... to to release that energy, to release that, you know, anger or bitterness or whatever it is that you feel. But I feel like with the Ace of Cups, there is new love here. And look, the Ten of Cups is here. Ace of Cups with the Ten of Cups. All right, Aquarius, so you need to like hurry up and let this go so that you can make room and make space for a brand new love to enter your life and this one is going to be worth it with a ten of cups this is this new one this new love is going to be worth it it's not going to be anything like your previous experience here with this past person this is going to be the the good one the one that actually leads to your um happiness and emotional fulfillment or the one that adds to it, right? Because you should be happy and fulfilled on your own. Okay? You don't need anyone for that. But, you know, this is this is going to be the one who adds to, to that happiness. Someone who's going to make you feel good. So keep being strong, right? We have the strength card. So keep... You know, keep your strength. This is kind of also a sense of integrity, like an energy of integrity. And um, what's the other word? You know, self-confidence, self-worth. So keep hanging on to that. Keeping on, keep hanging on to your sense of self worth and your sense of, of integrity. Because I feel like, um, I feel like you did really well for yourself here. I feel like, yeah, I, I do see that you know you have this energy of bitterness or anger, or whatever. But you know, you're a human being. Everyone has that. It's just part of being a human being, but, you know, in the bigger picture of it all, I feel like you did really well. Especially if you, you know, bit your tongue with the Knight of Swords in reverse. You know, you avoided saying things that, you know, 
you know you shouldn't have you shouldn't be saying you know things that lower your vibration but i feel like you didn't do that i feel like you've kept your vibration at a high level and that's really good because i feel like you are attracting um, a high level new relationship So, you know, I feel like this experience helped you, even if it was painful, I feel like it helped you, it, it raised you, it elevated you, elevated your energy. Okay, so, yeah. Don't worry about it. But let's take a look at your person and see what their energy is for the week. <clears throat> All right, spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, spirit. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, seven of cups in reverse. Hold on, I was getting a message here. Three of pentacles, five of cups, the devil, world, page of swords, six of wands. Emperor, four of cups, six of swords. What's this? Hold on, I need these cards. Seven of cups and the emperor in reverse with the four of cups in reverse. All right, so whoever you're dealing with in love, Aquarius, their energy for the week pertaining to you. Hmm. I feel like there's two energies, so I'm not sure if I'm looking at, a, at the new love energy or the past love energy. Six of Swords with a Ten of Wands in Reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting new love showing up here. I'm going to clarify that Page of Swords. I do feel like someone is watching you here. Someone is watching you very um, intensely. You know, like spying on you, keeping tabs on you. It doesn't feel bad, though. But let's see. Tell me about the Page of Swords. All right. Oh, what did I say? I told you this is new love. What did I say? Look at that. The Lovers, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and the Strength card. Okay. Yes, uh, so Aquarius, I do feel like this is someone who is brand new and it almost feels like they have a crush on you. Now, you might know this person or you might not know this person because I see there's distance here with the world card. Feels like there's distance, so I don't know if you've 
you know that you know them all that much but i do feel like they are very interested in you with the lovers card um they are looking for a relationship here they want a relationship but we do have the strength card i feel like this person is holding back because they are scared to get their heart broken by you so they're being very cautious and very careful and they're kind of watching you and observing you from a distance because you know they're very interested in you but they're very um scared to get their heart broken so i feel like they're they're guarding themselves here they're guarding their heart but they're very curious about you. Six of Wands, and I feel like they want they want your attention. They want to get your attention. They might be doing things to try to get your attention. It's almost like they're doing things to, to try to get you to feel attracted to them. Yeah, they're trying to get you to feel attracted to them. Okay, and what's this energy here, Spirit? What's that Five of Cups? Three of Pentacles. Oh, here we, we, here we have that old energy. You see, I told you there, these are two energies that are mixed up together here. The old and the new. Okay. So in regards to this older energy, well, they're grieving. They're, they're feeling pretty sad. Um, it's interesting because in, when I was reading your energy, I said something about you You look at this person like they don't have any guilt or any remorse or regret. I don't think that's true with the Five of Cups. No. They might not show it, but I feel like this person is um, experiencing a lot of guilt and remorse and regret. Mm -hmm. They are. They are. You might not think so, but they are. Um, I do see them very focused on their work, on their career, their finances, very focused on themselves. Um, they are trying to avoid um, avoid um, thinking about their emotions, thinking about their feelings, thinking about you. They're trying to avoid thinking about you. Because whenever they think about you, they start feeling really depressed and sad and um, guilty and remorseful. So I feel like they are in this energy of, you know, distracting themselves with their work or with whatever they're doing. Um, yeah, Three of Pentacles also work. I do feel a lot of work coming through here. Or this can be just, you know, um, projects, their own personal projects things that they're working on or building, or maybe they're buying a house. They're trying, or they're remodeling their house. Anything like that. Okay, and I see this person is thinking a lot about this failed happily ever after. Ten of Cups in reverse. This is a happily ever after that didn't work out. Things ended between you and them, and I, and I do feel like that's, that's something that is heavy on their heart and heavy in their mind. Um, it's almost, it looks like they wish, they wish things could have been different, or they wish things could have worked out between you two, but for whatever reason, it didn't happen, it didn't work out. Um, and they, I am sensing a lot of guilt in their energy. So I, I, I guess it's because of them that things didn't work out. Otherwise, why are they guilty? Why are they feeling guilty? Yeah, what did this person do, spirit? Why are they feeling guilty?
Did they friend zone you, Page of Pentacles? This person might have friend zoned you because they weren't ready for a relationship with you. They or they they weren't ready to get into a relationship. They wanted to just be friends. Oh, they took too long, hangman. They took too long to make a decision and they might have like like I said, friend zoned you. Uh, what else, Spirit? What, what's making them feel guilty? Yeah. There it is. Hierophant in reverse. Non-committal. They weren't offering you commitment. They left you hanging. They friend zoned you. Or they breadcrumbed you also with the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Empress, which means that there's there was there was other people in the picture. Yeah. I think this person was um this person had their options open. Or they were dealing with somebody else. There were other people in the picture. They weren't um exclusive with you. Okay, but I feel like they find themselves alone right now, so I guess that's why they're guilty because I feel like right now, yeah, right now they're they're not with anybody. They're just focused on themselves and on their work. So I feel like whatever other option they had, it didn't work out with them either, you know? So that's that. But yeah, you do have new love here for sure. Someone is... Very, very interested in you, Aquarius. Yeah, pay attention to this person because this one looks good. What's that Six of Wands about here? What's this? Um, what's the Six of Wands here about, Spirit, in regards to this new energy here? Okay, so yeah, maybe some some of you have already like dealt with this person, but um, I don't see that there was any relationship between you two previous previously. You two might have like lightly dealt with each other, like interacted with each other, but I feel like this person. Um, it does seem like they're a little bit like upset a little bit because they do feel like you're not giving them attention. I feel like they want more attention from you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. They want more attention from you. This person kind of wants you to pursue them or to chase them. They want to feel important. All right, got it. Thank you, Spirit. That's what it is. They want to feel important, and I feel like you're not really making them feel important, so they're not too happy about that, but they're, they're still very much interested in you. They're watching you, studying you, and again, there's an intense connection that they feel with you here. All right, Aquarius, so that's what I see here in your reading. I am going to move on to your extended reading, and I'm going to take a deeper look at your person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, what are their true and real intentions, and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week. Um, I'll see if I can cover both of these energies in the extended. All right, um, if you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.